It's a dub in it. Production. Quit learning for your ways. Learn from something. Subscribe, mother. Yeah, if I could teach the whole wild world, then I would. Instead of focused on my people in the hood. What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Dub Did It coming back at you live with another video. Now, I've been an avid fan of uh, 23 and 1, Lockdown 23 and 1 since its inception, just about. And, uh, you know, I've followed his live feeds and his videos and I've had nothing but respect for the guy. Alright, nothing but respect. But uh, about a month or two ago, I tried to comment on one of his live feeds, and it turns out I'm blocked. Now, I don't freak out or anything like that. No, no. Uh, you know, I uh, leave a little message. Hey, what's up, Death? I'm blocked, bud. You, know, you can unblock me. And during the live feed, he's like, oh, you're not blocked, Dub. You're texting right now. I said, no, bro, my other account. And he just ignores me. All right, but whatever, you know. It's cool. So I continue just to go with the flow. Um... I then asked him, hey, Death, why don't you have anybody from Texas on your show? And you know what this motherfucker tells me? Oh, I don't like dealing with people from Texas. I don't like the way they talk. I don't like editing all their mans and hold-ups and, you know, basically he don't like the text and lingo that we use. All right, so he just, he just don't fuck with us. That's all it is. Death don't like Texans. And guess what? Motherfucker, Texans don't like death, bitch. But anyways, I'm not wasting my time on that dude, man. I mean, I like the show. I thought he had some good shit, but he's a fucking sellout. He ain't worried about one fan. Well, guess what? All his 120,000, 220,000 subscribers are made of just a bunch of one fans. So you disrespect one fan and another fan, and soon enough, you're down to 666 fans like me death but anyways let's move on with the show ladies and gentlemen today i'm going to go ahead and teach you guys the difference between good bad and ugly dope all right now uh, the more sophisticated technology gets the easier things are able to be knocked off this includes everything from diamonds to gold to plastics to teeth to drugs all right, and this in itself holds a lot of dangers. Um, these lookalikes can be made with bad stuff. You know, I mean, drugs are bad regardless, but they can be adding all types of different chemicals in there that your body is not accustomed to, and that can cause serious damage beyond what the original drug does. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you guys for your for your own safety. All right. Again, I don't condone anybody doing drugs. I mean, there's a lot of resources. Check out the uh, description down at the bottom. I got some links to some rehabs and, and things like that. But if you're doing this stuff, I'm going to teach you the difference between the cut and the not cut. All right. First, we're going to go ahead and start off with salt. All right. I shouldn't have to say what that means. Cause if you don't know what that means, you in the wrong channel, bud. You in the wrong motherfucking hood. Uh understand what I'm saying you feel me soon <laughs> anyways all right so usually whenever you buy the stuff uh, you want to get it or uh, how can I say this without getting in trouble it's gonna sound oh you want to get it rocked up and I don't mean in the form of cooked you know what you want to get something that's solid hard um, usually it has multiple different colors when you look at it in the light you know it shines it reflects um it kind of looks like fish scales and that's what they call it fish scale now a lot of people what they'll do is there's a lot of additives that they can add that add that little shimmer shine bullshit nonsense right but uh the the difference between the real and the fake is the real stuff is going to be hard to break down into a powdery substance. Alright, now the fake stuff is just going to crumble, you know, with just a little bit of pressure. You know, press it and everything's just going to fall to pieces like crap. It's going to look like, I don't know, like dried up soap, I guess. I, I don't know. It, it, you know. When you see it, when you see both of them, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Like I said, the first one, shiny, rainbow-like fish scale, and it's 
hard. I mean, back in the day when my cat used to, you know, mess with it, he used to have to put it down in this big old pot and get the smasher and just ba 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 break it into pieces, you know, so that way it would fit in the pirate's glass and break down. You understand what I'm saying? And uh, the other stuff, you know, that that would just fall apart and wouldn't come back for anything. You know, you put it in the microwave and, and you'd see everything just drop to the bottom right away. And you also notice that your water starts to boil like crazy, which isn't really supposed to happen. And when you bring it out, there ain't nothing there at the bottom of that Pyrex glass. It's trash. Trash. And uh, like I said, you know, I, I wouldn't put that up in the orifices of my body because who knows what they put in there. Okay, so yeah, that's how you spot the difference. Um, a lot of people say that uh, the yellow tin stuff is supposed to be better. Not necessarily true. I mean, it could be, but it's not always the case. Um, the reason that you see that yellow color is because it's cut with an ether. Um, and the ether in the final production gives it that yellowish tint. Even when cooked down, it, it boils down into the dope. So maybe people are just getting you know blow it off the ether <laughs> rather than the uh, solid now um, as far as spotting the difference between good hard and soft hard that's uh, I could say fairly easy now good hard is gonna have an off-white tinge to it not yellow but an off-white if it's too white that means it's it's too much I don't know baking soda I guess I don't I don't know what makes it look like that um, but you know it's gonna be solid it's gonna be hard you know the reason they call it clack is because when you drop it you're supposed to hear it clack you know when it hits the ground you throw it but you're clack and it ain't supposed to break but then again I mean if it's soft like a soft piece of hard it's gonna not break anyway it's just gonna kind of fall with a little thud but um yeah so Good stuff is going to be an off-white, hard piece. Um, what else? What else? There's not going to be any holes in it. or there, there, There's going to be very few holes in it. Um, during the whipping process, what you're doing is you're actually mixing water with air. And that traps it in there, uh, thus creating air bubbles. All right. Now, when you cut open a piece of whip, and that's overly whipped, you're going to see what looks like Swiss cheese. Bunch of different little holes. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's cut or it's bad. But it's been blown up. So it it, it may look big. But no. There, there really isn't anything in there but air. And uh, that's better than the alternative. Because there's a lot of different things that they can put in the dope now. Um, back then they used to call it pro sand. I don't know what they call it now. But uh I have no idea what it is. It's labeled as an air freshener. And they put that in it. And it melts down just like the real stuff. And it creates smoke just like the real stuff. But it has, uh, from what I hear, it has an off taste to it. You know, it, it, I don't know how to explain it because I've never, I've never tried that. But uh, they tell me that it has an off taste to it. It doesn't taste good. There's a certain flavor to it. But, I mean, it can look pretty, it can look hard, but it's just the, the way you know is just for that taste. Um, lastly, I want to talk to you guys about the fake stuff. Uh, pure, what is it, uh, Novocaine, not Novocaine, Benzocaine and baking soda. I don't, I don't know what the exact process is, but basically what they do is they put benzo Benzocaine and baking soda together. Uh, they put it in the microwave and it hardens up and it smokes like the real stuff and it almost burns like the real stuff but you will know it's fake by the way it catches fire that mother or will start to burn like a torch at the end of that little piece there and it, it'll literally catch fire <laughs> and I'm not kidding you it, it will catch fire the stuff might look good might numb you all up might make your heart start racing, but that's actually the benzocaine poisoning. Um, again, if it catches fire, it's no good. You're probably not getting high off of it. You're just getting numbed out. 
and uh, you think it's good so your mind's telling you it's good because it looks good but no if it catches fire throw that trash away and that's screwed up man because it's not even the users that are getting screwed over it's the the dealers you know the dealers are, are buying this stuff they're being told that it's straight drop or, or legit work and uh yeah it's just a few bucks worth of you know a few household things thrown into a little mic mixture and blah how comes this fake nonsense but uh, again guys i do not condone drug use in any sort of way you know part of the reason why i have my videos titled what they are is to draw in people that are likely to do the stuff and uh you know i want to educate you guys on some things you know i want to i want to teach you guys that it's not all you know gold and glitter and glamour and glitz and all that being a dealer because it really isn't it's it's a hard life it, there's nothing fun about it it's nothing easy about it you know you're, you're basically working 24 hours a day and if you break that down per hour you know sometimes you're, you're barely making anything you know sometimes i mean don't get me wrong there are occasions there's a lot of times when you will make a lot of money but for some reason that money just doesn't feel the same as as money that you get from actually working for it the money you make while hustling seems i don't know fake i guess like it doesn't really matter i mean i guess it's because you get it so fast you can spend it fast and make it back fast so you never really have time to appreciate the value of a dollar but in the end you know it's going to cost you a lot more money and time then you're gonna get out of actually hustling trust me you know somebody I know did it for 10 long years avoided the cops and uh, got caught up by his own people doing him in you know his own people ripping him off you know what I'm saying but uh, anyways ladies and gentlemen that concludes this video I want to thank you guys for tuning in um, be on the lookout for more content. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, whatnot, whatnot. And also, if you're from Texas, unsubscribe from that motherfucker, Jess. He's a no bastard. Alright, no dub out. And sure Listen to the teachers. And that was on you. And that was on you. To take what you learn and do what you do. Now I don't claim to be good. Now I don't claim to be bad. But I've been there, done that. Let's go to hell.